Welcome back guys to this episode of my single player survival Minecraft experience. Today we've got a bit of a weird episode, a little bit of off camera grinding was done again. So let's walk you through what we did. So we begin, we begin with our defeat of the Ender Dragon. Watch the last video, it's great. We beat him, we killed him, it's all good. But now, now the real fun begins. So let us start with the end. So immediately after defeating the Ender Dragon, well, I figured, okay, we need a quick way in and out of the end because I do want to construct Atlantis. I was going to flood the entire surface of the end with water, thereby preventing any Endermen from spawning except in the location I want. And then infinite Ender Pearls, great XP quantities, it'll be great. And then I started doing it. And as you can see, it takes a long time. Not only does it take a long time, it didn't really work all that great and I was worried I was going to fall off the whole time. So I abandoned that project and instead I built myself this highway straight to my end portal. So you find us here now in the never. You see we have this chest full of boats. We place the boat down and we zoom at the speed only honestly it's insane look at that speed and we're here already that's how quick it is to get to and from my never portal now ah, to and from my ender portal now it's insane this took a little bit of time to make and i'm not not gonna lie it was a little bit dangerous I, i'll i'll show you guys i think if we open the wall i think it was here you can see not the safest location to build a never portal through and then we went over lava here and then it's even worse on the other side honestly yeah you, you guys can you, you, you can see it it's not the best place for a um a portal but it works it's built it's safe and we can now really easily access the end almost no time it takes to get there now and here you find us at the end portal so we added a few more chests just for random storage and cement stone and we've also now got a fully functional what's it um water elevator it takes us straight up all the way Honestly, it feels slow compared to the ice. Ooh, the j depth of light's a bit bright. Ah, the pain. But yeah, so here we have these two little stone, end stone thing, thingamajigs, just to indicate where our drop off and come up point is. And then Sebastian's still over there. Poor Sebastian. I haven't forgot about you. I'll bring you home soon. He's going to stay there forever. Just don't tell him that. All right, and then we, I started building this this bridge all the way back. I go halfway, realized I'm never going to be able to finish this. It takes super long. It requires a ton of bricks. It's not worth it. So I instead built the end portal and I'll just, I'll tear this down at some point. It's, it's a lot, it goes off for a couple hundred blocks. But yeah, so if we go this way down all the way, you'll find yourself in a uh, ice biome where we can get kelp and we can get the water elevator going. Ooh, is that ice? Oh, that's so useful. Biome, which is where I got the ice for this, which kind of gave me the idea because I wanted kelp to build this portal. Because when I did the one for the never portal, or not the never portal, for the spider spawner, I did it with buckets. So I just placed a bucket, got another one, place, 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 place. It was a hassle. So this time I wanted to use kelp. So for kelp, we went all the way that way, hoped to find an ocean, did find an ocean, found kelp, found ice was awesome now we have our never portal or at least our end portal highway which is amazing then let's jump into the end quickly and let me show you guys what we did there so i built this little area to be safe you know protect me from spawning and falling off put some carpets on these so stuff won't spawn and then you can see the water it goes on for a while in both directions, actually just in that direction. It goes kind of like halfway around 
and then there's like a little swimming pool area. It, it's pretty nice, but it's not going to work. So instead, I decided since this wasn't going to work, I want to encase the entire thing with like a glass tube going up where this rim is, and then fill the entire thing in with water. So we turn it into a giant fish tank. We'll put like grass over the bottom and some gravel, you know, texturize it and everything. And then we can get fish, th we can throw some fish in here and make it nice. We'll make a little fish tank end and have perfect rates for the end enderman. But yeah, so we got this pretty nice. It works pretty well. And I mean, yeah, so the end still needs a lot of work. But I decided if we're going to do the end properly, we're going to want a beacon, right? But not only are we going to want a beacon, we're going to want a beacon, we're going to want elytra, and we're going to want shulker boxes. Because how on earth am I going to carry this much glass safely? I mean, it's not going to work. So we need shulker boxes, we need elytra, we need fireworks, and we need a beacon. So let's check out what else we did. So I realized, yeah, we were t to get a wither. We, well, to get a beacon, we need to get a wither. And that's not going to be easy. Plus, I might die fighting the wither, and worst case scenario, I might even lose all my gear. So, I did this. Yeah, that's right. Full backup armor. And this stuff isn't just for show. If I grab these pieces, you can see Blast Prot, Unbreaking, Feather Falling, Mending, Death Strider, Thorns. Prot 3, Unbreaking, Mending, Thorns. Blast Prot, Thorns, Unbreaking, Mending. Prot, Resp, Respiration, Unbreaking, Aqua Affinity, Mending, Thorns. This is insanely good armor. It's a bit damaged. I, I hit it with an axe by accident. But it's insanely good. Actually, I might swap these boots. Because I did swap boots at one point. Because my boots had blast protection on them. And these boots randomly got fire prot. And I was like, that's really great for, you know, farming up these wither skills. Since I wouldn't have to worry about the blazes. So I think I'll swap back to blast prot. Now that we're not farming our never our wither skills anymore as you can see we have four so we can make one wither but now I'm sure you're wondering how did we on earth manage to get this many wither skills I mean wither skulls are no easy thing to get I mean if I show you my statistics where is that again there it is we go to mobs and we oh, first of all 247 blazes killed 3564 cave spiders it turns out killing them isn't actually the most efficient way of getting XP. It turns out selling their string, the pumpkins and melons, gives you more XP than killing the cave spiders. So that's just crazy, but apparently true. So if we go all the way down, yeah, one ender dragon killed, I'm very proud of that. If we go all the way down to wither skeletons, 155 wither skeletons killed. Zero deaths from them though. How on earth did someone like me achieve that? Well. I'll walk you through it. But before I walk you through it, I'm just going to show you one more thing. This. We have a lot of gunpowder now. now I'm sure you, uh, and firework rockets. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how did that happen? How did you manage to get that much gunpowder and that much fireworks? I mean, did you go hunting creepers? No, I'm not insane. I would never go hunting creepers. I built this. So this here, as you can see, it works pretty well. It's a three-tier uh, three tier mob farm so as you can see it goes up uh, far enough so that fall damage will kill any mobs that spawn in here then the water pushes them down into the tunnel where they die we got three layers so that you know we have a decent amount of area for them to spawn and yeah that's pretty much it our passive mob farm and it seems to be working pretty well Alright, but yeah, so we built this, we get really decent drops, I mean it does take a bit of time, you have to AFK her for quite a while to get anything, but you can get some really nice stuff out of this, as you can see from our, you know, chests. We also have these now, bottles of enchanting, lots and lots of bottles of enchanting. Essentially, while I was grinding up the levels to make that other set of armor, I bought and sold a lot of pumpkins. Well, I sold a lot of pumpkins and bought a lot of these with the emeralds I made from them. And then, of course, I also stored up some of those, so I have 42 blocks of emeralds. So we're really good to make that beacon base out of emeralds. It's going to be pretty cool. Hello, spiders. You wish to die, don't you? I can tell. Don't worry. I'll end your suffering. Yes. Blood for the spider god. Oh, I don't need those. 
Oh yeah, uh, you guys can see. Um, I haven't really used the eyes much, so they've been piling up, and then there's more. <laughs> I set this up just to filter a bit easier. But yeah, okay, so this is pretty nice. This area is now really, really great. And now we get to the safety part, where, well, how we got these safely. So, I started off by going into the end. Well, not the end, going into the never. Now, oh no, it's night, we must sleep, this is not safe. Oh yeah, I also expanded the pumpkin farm a little bit, not much, just a little bit. Let's just sleep. Sleeping. Alright, there we go. So, let's go to the never portal. Now, first of all, you might be wondering, wait, what's this next to Henry and Steve's cage? Hello, Henry. Hello, Steve. Respect. All right, so you might be wondering, what is this just giant passageway? Well, I got sick of walking down these stairs all the time. So instead, I made this passageway that goes pretty much as far across as that one goes. So they go the same distance in. But this, at the end, you might be able to t see are two signs. Now, these signs are holding back water. What water, you might say? Hey, it is right here. A water elevator again, leading us down to our never portal. Now, I tried bringing it up to the top, but then it would link up with the one that heads to the end. So I was like, ah, it's fine. I'll just build this. This here, you know, whatever it's called, water elevator. That takes us to this portal here. Now, this portal. Now, this takes us to our normal area with our standard you know, pit down where we farm all the neverite for our tools and everything. And by the way, the amount of beds I wasted down there is insane. I think it's been like, probably like 90 or 100 beds already blown up. It was quite insane and we got a lot of neverite from it. Like if we actually, maybe I'll bring a um, spectator cam and just show you guys how blown up it is down there. It's pretty impressive. But what I just also did is you'll see this pathway going up here instead of the long way around around the bastion. So I checked cords and I dug a straight hole, well, sort of straight hole, all the way from the fortress to here. And then, uh, let's just get up to the area because the fortress is a little bit higher than, you know, this. We have another blue ice, you know, ru runway, I guess you call it, or path or highway maybe. This one's a little bit longer, but it still takes almost no time to get where we're going. Oh my goodness, what have I done? This is not good. Um, help. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, okay, I, <laughs> I think the boat is in the wall now. <laughs> this is, oh no. Duh. I may have to ender pearl out of here. Oh, don't be like that, Blaze. Okay, so that that was a really <laughs> bad idea. I'm still I, I'm stuck. I, I don't I have error. I dropped all my arrows. This was a really bad decision. Okay, we'll do this quickly. Die, 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 die. Uh oh. I okay. You know what? Cut the footage so when we get editing magic. I have arrows now. Ooh, spooky. I actually went all the way back and. You know, all the way back, left, got the arrows, came back. That's just how fast that path is. Like, if I had made this mistake before, but all that long walk all the way back, now it's just zip and back. Now, you might notice something, that we got this walkway covered in lights, because apparently, I, I, I'm reading the wiki, blazes shouldn't be able to spawn in a light level above 11. I mean, this looks above 11 to me. Uh, apparently, those two blazes didn't get the memo, but, you know, I mean, whatever. So, yeah, so we have this really well-lit area. And then we have this. The Wither Skull Dome, or enclosure arena. Who cares? It's cool, though. See, all of the Wither Skull, Wither Skeletons, they spawn in here. And they, they see me, they get all mad. They're like, oh, we must kill him. And then I just walk under here, and then they can't do anything. And I just hit them, and they die. And that's how I've been getting my wither skills. Oh, what? No, bad. I forgot about you guys. See, it's, it's pretty nice. But now, some of you, the astute viewer, will be like, Oh, that wouldn't have great rates, would it? I mean, sure, you're in a fortress, but there's lots of space where a wither skull could spawn. Or a wither skeleton could spawn. So, I mean, how do you expect to kill them? 
or to get them to spawn here when there's so much other space they could spawn. That's a really good point. Oh no, more rivers. Yeah, and this little enclosure here, so I've got two places for them. Ow. Uh, he he withered me. How dare he? Let me just take there's a proper opening here. Oh my goodness. No. 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 Oh, that worked. Now you might have noticed the rates here are pretty they're pretty decent, right? Like there's stuff everywhere. How did we oh more wither skills? Come on. Come on. Fine, I'll just fight you. Yeah, I, actually killing all these wither skills kind of made me figure out how combat works. So I'm now way better for sword. It's kind of awesome, but also well, not against these guys. These guys, they don't count because they're annoying and tiny. You just jitter click them. But yeah, so yeah, very nice area. But now, oh, you see, look at those spawns. Already that many. I can't figure out how to get rid of the blazes though. They keep spawning. But yeah, so we just have a ton of wither skills spawning all the time. Easy kills. Die, 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 die. Yum. I can't eat it yet. Fight me. Coward. Ow. I was stupid. That was stupid. That's not how you do. Uh, you know, I just bragged about being able to fight now. I already can't. Ooh, already Another wither skill. See? That works perfectly well. This is a great farm. But now, like I said, how did I get the rates so good? Well, first of all, all this is lit up. There's some carpets. They didn't work. They burnt down. I tried slabs, they work pretty well, but you see, well, mostly I tried carpets at first, I was like, I'll carpet everything, and I came into a ton of carpet, and it got burned down by the blaze, and I was sad. Then I had a really great idea, things can't spawn on slabs, right? So if I just slab the entire blaze, the entire never fortress, nothing would spawn, we'd get great rates, right? That makes a lot of sense. So I actually went and did that. Now some of you are thinking like, oh, that's good dedication there, you, you did a very good job and now the fortress will, you know, be great for your wivers. It's true, but I realized something halfway through. Wiver skeletons don't spawn in light levels above 7. So instead of doing all of the slabs I placed, I could have just placed torches. And that's a lot easier because I'm going to walk you guys through it. You see this? I removed the floor for every single area and the roof by the way the floor and the roof of every single area cord cult, whatever it's called corridor stairway you can see like all of this there's no roofs anymore there's no floor anymore it's all slabs 100 percent of its slabs and lit up now as well because i realized just to be double safe but yeah so it's all slabs all lit up all of it the roofs the tops everything like every tower every corner like if I get to my I built like stairs up as well so I could do the you know the uh, what's the term for it the walls I guess yeah here it is so you can see every single wall is a slab every you know vertices is a slab everything has been slabbed cut up slabbed broken down be except for that little point right there that is the only tower I didn't touch because I realized I could do you know torches and I just torch spammed but every other place Okay, this is slabbed, well, this is slabbed, technically, you'll see, it. there they got slabbed. I just didn't cut out the top of this, I, I left the top for some of the stairs. But yeah, so every, uh, is this safe to go down? That would be a, a heavy no. But you guys see what I've done, I, I, I spent, I, I don't even want to tell you how many hours, so I'm not, but way too many. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, but way, way too many hours doing this. And yes, I do 100% do regret it because I could have just torch spammed and it would have been so much easier. But hey, you know, we all do stupid things from time to time. And this was my stupid thing. And I spent, I was going to do a full video on this and I realized just how stupid it was. And I was like, okay, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to put it into like, whatever this is, my off-camera grinding video. I, I was literally going to make three videos. One on the end, one on the never, and then one, you know, getting uh, whatever it's called, the wings, Vitra. Which is a stupid name because elytras are what beetles have, and those are not beetles, they're wings, but whatever. You know what, getting the elytra, I was going to do a full video on all of them, and then I gave up when I realized just how stupid this was. Because I did the end, I made, I started like putting water pools, realized that was pointless because it wasn't going to work, I had to, you know, make a dome so I could cancel that video, and then I was going to do this video, and then I was like, oh, this was pointless, I could just torch spam, so I canceled that one too. And here we are now, doing this video. So yeah. 
uh, frustrating, sure, but ah, uh, it's fine. It's not that big a deal. But now we have to get out of here, and I have no idea how. Okay. Cut from here to where we... I will cut from here to where we get out of this fortress. Spooky, but we got back. I, I jumped through the floor. Ow, stop withering me. Die. Yeah, so we even got one more wither skull from all this explanation. So yeah, it's pretty good. So the Never Fortress, or at least the Never itself now, is uh, pretty secure. Uh, we have pretty decent rates here now as well. Uh, Dagnamit, you blazing blazes. There we go. Die, die. I'm, just, I'm, uh, sadness. And I was speaking so many things, and I can't do ML. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. So yeah, we get a lot of waiver skills. Well, we got five so far. I want to get six so we can do two beacons, but it does take tremendous amounts of time to get blit wivers. Like, honestly, I, I don't know. Like, did the pig cheat for blaze skull, uh, for wiver skulls? I don't know. Honestly, he has the dedication to do it. I know that for a fact. Would he waste that much time to do it? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, like, I, I've killed 145 of these guys at this rate of spawn, and I still only have five, so... He, he is impressive to a insane degree. Or he cheated, which is not impossible. They, they do have a tendency to cheat a little bit, but at the same time, like, th th this... Honestly, if he did it legitimately in survival, I am so impressed. Like, that's insane. Come on, boy, Piglet. Oh, come on, now I have to fight your kind as well. Die, die, die. Die. Die, and you nearly killed me. Oh, another one? Okay, you know what? You get the axe. Yeah, I have sharpness 5 on my axes as well. But they don't have looting, so it's not worth killing things with them. But it, it, it does work occasionally, you know? It's not a bad weapon. Ooh, never wither skill. Come here. Come here. Aha, now will come for me. What? I said, aha. Oh, I kill ah this is just such a waste of a wiver ah, whatever let's get out of here but yeah so we've done the never we've done the end we're now pretty much ready we have enough wiver skulls to make one wiver then we can make one beacon but we also now need to head on oh that's dangerous actually go away punch bow <laughs> it sends them flying oh hello stay away from the ice Arg. By the way, I still can't find that other boat. It's just gone. It's like rammed out of existence. It's kind of hilarious, actually. But yeah, so let's head. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> How do I stop this? Uh, okay, there we go. Let's head back to base. <laughs> okay, guys, so now you've seen what I've been up to since the defeat of the mighty Ender Dragon. And it's been a lot of interesting developments that have all failed in the development of a singular video. But now they've come together in this video, another off-grinding video. Yes, I do apologize for that. I won't make too many off-camera grinding videos. I do plan on probably live streaming at some point, but uh, no promises because my internet's not so consistent. And I'm getting a better mic soon as well. And then we can, you know, you'll be able to hear my interesting voice a little bit better. I'm not sure if interesting here is a compliment or an insult, but you know, it doesn't matter. Either way, you guys will be able to at least hear me a bit better soon, and you'll be able to maybe catch me live if my internet doesn't break, but we'll try. But yeah, so for that, we'll make one more off-camera cam grinding video, and then in the next video, we'll head off towards the end and look into getting our hands on an elytra and some shulker boxes. But we'll do that in the next episode. So, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.